Hey guys, Austin here with Hope to Cope, checking in today to remind you that you are a miracle and you have a purpose. So we have an Airbnb uh, rental that we, we rent out. And yesterday I was going through reviews over the last couple of months. And most of them are five-star reviews that they had great experiences, that they loved the stay, they loved the room, they loved the experiences we have with our animals and meeting me and my family. And great reviews. And then I found one from two months ago that was a three-star review. And as I started reading through the review, they were saying that they didn't like that there was animals on property so close to the 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 suite. They didn't like that there was the the animal poop that they could smell and they didn't like, you know, all these different things. And, and there was one thing that he said that he hated was that he had texted me or messaged me about parking a second vehicle and he never got a response from me and he said that really bothered him and he hated that he didn't get a message from me and so in communication they gave us a two-star review and so out of all of these five-star reviews you know that that's great but it was that three-star one that stuck out to me and that really bothered me and all of a sudden I found myself going from happy to upset and frustrated so I went back and I looked at my messages and I said okay how did I miss this because I usually respond so I looked through all the messages that I had and I did not see a message that I received from him so it's possible that he meant to send it but it didn't send or he didn't click send or service or whatever happened but I didn't get it and so I reached out to him and just said hey you know thanks for the feedback thanks for your review I'm sorry for your experiences and and uh, this is my, my, my experience. I didn't see your message. So that's, that's how that experience went with the review. But notice that that review he wrote two months ago. And I was completely fine until I read it just yesterday. And then I was upset about it or disappointed. And so this is why it's important to recognize that your emotions are dependent upon your thoughts. It wasn't the event. That event happened two months ago. But it was my thoughts about the event that led to me feeling upset about it, right? And so I was able to recognize that, validate my emotions, feel the emotions, release the emotions, and then respond to seek for understanding and love for this person and as well for myself. It's okay for people to have their experiences. Not everyone is going to like you. And they have their own experiences and that's okay. If we try to control how other people experience us, we are going to be frustrated and upset a lot of the time. So is that something that you notice in yourself? Are you upset with other people's opinions of you? Are you upset with reviews that you receive? Are you trying to control things that are out of your control, such as people's opinions and reviews of their experiences with you? Because you're not going to please everyone. And so recognize that your thoughts lead to your emotional experiences. And it's okay to feel upset. It's okay to feel angry. Allow yourself to feel it, get it out, release it, and come back to being at peace. Focusing on what you have control over, which is your conscious thoughts, where you draw your attention, the emotions that you experience, and your actions. And so when you have emotional experiences, upset, frustration, anger, hurt, validate it, sit with it, release it, and then redirect yourself into ideas and thoughts and beliefs and actions that are going to serve you most. Remember, you are a miracle. You do have a purpose. This life is amazing with all the ups and the downs, the mountains and the valleys. And so allow yourself to experience it and allow yourself to focus on those things that bring you joy, that bring you light, that bring you peace. You can find peace. There is a moment of peace. You can have peace in the midst of the storm. You can remove yourself from the storm. Whatever serves you best, this life is here to bless you, to benefit you, and to help you in your journey. Remember, I'm here at Hope to Cope every day, 
checking in to give you a message of hope and to remind you that you're a miracle and you have a purpose. Thank you for spending this time with me today. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.